Hey guys, I'm Andre Smirnov with the FastLaneTruck.com and this is the top 10 list of best resale value vehicles for 2018 in the United States and this list has been put together by our friends at Kelly Blue Book and the link below in the video description will take you to kbb.com so you can read a lot more about the 2018 best resale value vehicles and you can also look in the history and see how those vehicles progressed in time and behind me you see the 2018 Toyota Sequoia and it's here to foreshadow what's happening with this best resale value vehicles list. You might be surprised about this because it's very heavily laden with trucks and SUVs. So 2018 appears to be a year of truck, at least according to this data. And resale value is very important because you've spent all this time to find the perfect vehicle for you, right? And then you own it for about three or four or five years and all of a sudden, it's worth about a third of what it was worth when you first bought it and you're losing out on that value when you sell it again. And KBB ordered this list by percent value of the original MSRP, so the original sticker, after five years. So all these percentages I'm gonna be talking about is basically value of the original sticker price after five years. This is a projection from KBB. Number 10 on the list is a Subaru Impreza WRX and you know it's the only car on this list. After five years KBB projects that the 2018 WRX will be worth 46.2% of its original value. So why does the WRX maintain its value better than most? Well I think it has to do with several things. First of all it's a very safe vehicle. IIHS has rated it very highly for safety crash ratings it, it received the top safety pick plus from IIHS. It has a lot of power. It has a turbocharged engine, obviously, and all-wheel drive system, which gives you a lot of traction. And it's a favorite of enthusiasts. Still a really cool vehicle. Number nine on the list is a Honda Ridgeline. And I consider it a pickup truck. We call it the crossover pickup because it has a truck bed. And after five years, KBB projects it will retain 46.7% of its original value. So which, this is about half percentage more than the WRX. And I think the Honda Ridgeline is on this list for several reasons. First, it doesn't sell a lot of units, so there's not a lot of used Honda Ridgelines out there. And also it has a lot of neat features. First of all, it's very comfortable. The interior is spacious and comfortable like a crossover would be. And then the bed has a lot of unique features like in-bed speakers, trunk. There's two ways to open your tailgate. You can fold it down or swing it to the side. So a lot of neat features for more of an urban pickup truck. Number eight on the list is kind of a surprise to me, but it's the Chevy Colorado midsize truck lineup. Uh, after five years, this truck is set to retain 47.5% of its original value. Why is this? Well, I think partially because Chevy Colorado offers a lot of choice. There are three engine options in the Colorado. You have the four-cylinder, you have a V6, you also have a turbo diesel. The diesel comes with a six-speed automatic while the V6 comes with a eight-speed automatic. And there's also the ZR2 Halo off-road version of the Colorado, which is very cool. Number seven is the Ford F-Series. And I'm also a little bit surprised to see the Ford F-Series on this list. After five years, KBB says it will retain 49.6% of its value, basically almost half. It's the best-selling vehicle in the country, so there's so many F-Series trucks out there. And as soon as you have a lot of product on the market, it's, you know, it's difficult to resell it for a high value, but it's number seven on this list. And I think it has to do with choice, once again, because as of like March or April of this year, the F-150 will have six different power choices. They have the regular V6, they have a small 2.7 liter turbocharged V6, they have a five liter V8, they have a turbocharged 3.5 liter EcoBoost and the Raptor engine version of it. And soon they'll have a turbo diesel and you can get it in every configuration imaginable, different cap sizes, bed lengths. And I think for that reason, Ford is on this list. Number six is another surprise. It's the Chevy Silverado lineup. 
I think the reason why it's a little bit higher than the F series, uh, KBB says after five years it will retain 50.4% of its original value because it's the second best selling vehicle in the full size segment. And so the supply is a little bit smaller. So I think you can get a little bit more value up when you resell this Silverado pickup truck. Once again, it offers a lot of choice, maybe not quite as much, at least power choices as in the F series, but still a lot of configurations. Of course, they also have like four heavy duty trucks as well that are counted as part of this list. Number five on the list is the GMC Sierra. And I think you see a little trend here. Uh, the GMC Sierra is set to retain 51.9% of its original value. And GMC Sierra is more of a rare truck. It's number four on the full size truck uh, sales numbers list. And GMC has been very successful with its Denali luxury pickup truck version of the Sierra. And I think that's why it's number five on this list because you can load them up with really nice premium features and a lot of features are valued by the customers. So when you go resell that truck, it maintains a lot of its value. Number four on this list is an SUV and it is the Jeep Wrangler. KBB says after five years, it will retain 54.1% of its original value. And I, that's no surprise to me. The Jeep Wrangler is still selling every unit they make. The JK generation is still being made right now. Jeep had just completely redesigned the Wrangler with the JL generation that we recently tested and shown you guys on this channel as well. And I think it will maintain its popularity and it will maintain its value because it's just a versatile truck. It's an SUV with a frame underneath and it's very off-road worthy. It's the most off-road worthy Jeep in the lineup and it's the icon of the brand. So I think all those things work for the Wrangler to maintain its value. Number three on the list is a Toyota 4Runner. And the Toyota vehicles have been on this list for many, many years. You guys can check out the KBB link below to see in the history. And the 4Runner will maintain 54.2% of its original value after five years. So that's a big jump from where um, the GMC Sierra and Chevy Silverado were. I think Toyota is at the top of the list because of its reputation for reliability. Toyota has this method of doing small incremental changes with a lot of their vehicles, uh, not throwing a lot of technology or new turbochargers or diesel engines into the mix, but refining it very slowly, uh, maintaining their quality and usability. And the 4Runner is a great off-road truck um, it's based on the frame platform once again, and it's highly popular, especially in Colorado, where we're based, and I'm not surprised it's on this list. Number two on the list is the Toyota Tundra, which actually ties for the second and third place with the 4Runner, and the chassis from the Tundra actually underpins the Toyota Sequoia you see behind me. Once again, same story, reliability story is still there, and the Tundra doesn't sell a lot of units, so there's not a big supply of the Tundra out there. So when the time comes to resell the Tundra, it will maintain 54.2% of its original value once again. And number one on the list, no surprise for me here because in Colorado, there are so many Toyota Tacomas and it's so difficult to buy a used one because the used value of a Tacoma is almost as high as the original price on the Tacoma. It's uh, number one on this list. And it, after five years, KBB says it will maintain 61.1% of its original value. And after three years for the Tacoma, 69.6% of its original MSRP. What can you say? Um, if you want to maintain the value of the vehicle, the Tacoma is the vehicle for you. Once again, reliability story is there and small incremental improvements to get you to that usable and also off-road worthy truck. They also have the TRD Pro version, of course. Go back to tfltruck.com and tflcar.com for a lot more information on all kinds of cars and trucks. Thanks.